The first case is highlighting a male with hypertension. What we're going to look at is uh, the link between hypertension and hyperlipidemia, look at what clinical trial data we have to support that, and then um, some issues on compliance. As you'll see, our uh, example case is a pretty typical non-compliant patient. It's a 56-year-old African-American male who was recently promoted to principal of your neighborhood high school after a distinguished career as a math teacher. Um, promotion required him to have a complete history and physical, and that's why he's coming in to see you. His past medical care has been episodic. The last time he actually had an exam was about a decade ago. He's found to have his blood pressure elevated. He admits to being a hearty eater. And notice heart is in the middle of that statement there. Um, but for religious reasons, he doesn't drink any alcohol and has never smoked. He has no regular exercise regimen except for a walk on the weekends that can go up to two to three miles depending on the weather. He's 5'8", 210 pounds, a BMI of 31.8, waist circumference of 42 inches, his blood pressure is 145 over 95, and that's taken on two readings. No AV nicking on a retinal exam and no other physical findings of note. His cholesterol is 225 with an LDL of 145, an HDL of 38, a non-HDL of 187, a triglyceride of 210, blood sugar of 115, and you checked the microalbumin on him and that was 35 micrograms per milligram of creatinine. What is this patient's risk for a CHD event using Framingham over the next decade? Less than 5%, 5 to 10%, 11 to 20%, or greater than 20%. Okay. 73% say uh, this intermediate type risk of 11 to 20%, 20% uh, think he's high risk, and 7% think he's lower risk. 